As humanity approaches the singularity, technological advances in humanoid robots begin to accelerate. Of course, we're a long way from Netflix's altered carbon style future, but that doesn't mean we're not making incredible advances in engineering, artificial intelligence, and robotics. In this video, we're going to explore new footages of humanoid robots that are amazing and you'll definitely be shocked after knowing about this most advanced humanoid robot. So let's start by saying hello and welcome to Robot Future, where we'll fill you in on every thrilling discovery, mind-blowing insights in the world of robots, AIs, and future technology. So consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification for a ton of exciting robot content coming your way. Now without further ado, let's get into the video. Arisa. The Tokyo Metropolitan Government created Arisa, a six-foot guide robot that works in subway stations to direct passengers to restrooms and lockers, provide transit directions, and recommend nearby tourist attractions. She has bright eyes, is well-dressed, and speaks Japanese, English, Chinese, and Korean fluently. Aru's Gaming in Japan and THK in Chicago work together to develop her. Following a successful trial run at the Ueno Okachimachi and Tochimoe subway stations in December, the city plans to conduct a second trial at five stations in February. Furthermore, Takeyuki Saito of the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Bureau of General Affairs stated that the city will continue to investigate how Arisa and similar robots could be used to improve urban operations at various locations throughout the metro area in the future. Tanaka, the director of the Japan Sports Hub's Youth Sports Organization, believes Arisa will be extremely important during the summer games. Tanaka emphasizes that Arisa's artificial intelligence will fill in the gaps to provide seamless support because most Olympic volunteers are unfamiliar with the city layout and subway system. Jaja Guess who's known as China's robot goddess? Jaja is a humanoid robot created by researchers at the University of Science and Technology of China. Jaja is widely regarded as China's most beautiful woman, and her beauty is enhanced by her ability to converse with and respond to others appropriately. While speech patterns continue to be unsatisfactory, Jaja compensates by appearing remarkably human thanks to her eye movements and speech lip synchronizations. She does, however, address her creator as my lord, which may be a Chinese cultural addition. Jaja's expressions are realistic because special emphasis was placed on her eyes so that she can detect and respond to various gestures, emotions, behaviors, and so on. She also has speech generation algorithms which allow her to converse with humans and facial recognition technology which allows her to track different faces in the room. Using these technologies, Jaja could detect when photographers were taking unflattering photos of her and instruct them to not make her face appear fat on camera. As a result, the creators of Jaja hope that her interactions will become more human rather than robotic. Nadine Let's say you're speaking with a call center representative. You'll believe the agent is a human while being spoken to, right? Your presumption may not be accurate though. Nadine might be that agent. She's a robotic humanoid of her kind. Nadine's body appears to be human-like. She can even recognize you from past visits, make eye contact with you, shake your hand, carry on a conversation based on previous contacts, and so on. Kokoro Japan created Nadine, and Singapore's Nanyang Technological University created her software platform. Regarding her specifications, she features a webcam for gathering visual information, 3D depth cameras, and a microphone for audio inputs. Then, after these inputs have been processed, a variety of perception layers work to identify distinct faces, gestures, emotions, behaviors, etc., and then respond appropriately. With the use of built-in chatbots and a memory model, Nadine can manage a variety of inquiries and remember various users and their interactions with her. She is currently employed as customer service representative in Singaporean insurance firm. The Kodomoroid TV Presenter Japanese researchers claim to have created the world's first news-reading android, which is eerily lifelike and has a sense of humor to match her perfect language skills. The Kodomoroid, a combination of the Japanese word kodomo, child, and android, alerted Tokyo reporters to an earthquake and an FBI raid. When the pitch-perfect Kodomoroid was asked to introduce herself, she was flanked by a grown-up fellow robot who got stage fright and fluffed her lines telling Hiroshi Ishigura, a leading robotics professor, you're starting to look like a robot. Otanaroid apologized after a brief reboot, saying, I'm a little nervous. Both androids will be stationed at Tokyo's National Museum of Emerging Science and Innovation, where they'll be interacting with visitors and collecting data from Mr. Ishigura's research on human reactions to machines. 
In the future, we'll have more and more robots in our lives, Mr. Ishiguro predicted. Mr. Ishiguro, on the other hand, insisted that both would be invaluable to his ongoing research because museum visitors could converse with the droids and use them as an extension of their own bodies. The Android Acting Robot The first version of this android was released in 2003, and its intelligence has grown since then. It's recommended for theatrical use because the design is more realistic, the responses are more human, and the voice work allows it to read scripts and languages in a variety of languages. Furthermore, smart sensors and actuators allow it to respond to touch, and the various motors allow it to simulate breathing. Osaka University developed Actroid, which is manufactured by Kokoro Company Ltd. It made its debut at the International Robot Exhibition in Tokyo, Japan, in 2003. Since then, several different versions of the product have been produced. In most cases, the robot looks like a typical young Japanese woman. Mark 1 A Hong Kong product and graphic designer realized a childhood dream when he used 3D printing technology to create a realistic humanoid robot that resembled Hollywood actress Scarlett Johansson. Ricky Ma 42 created the Mark 1 robot after becoming obsessed with androids as a child. After spending $50,000 or 35,000 euros and laboring for a year and a half on his home's balcony, Ma is now looking for investors to buy her. Mark 1's skeleton is 3D printed, and 3D printing was used to create 70% of her body. Her skin is made of silicone and wraps around her and conceals the robot's mechanical and electronic interior, giving her a human-like appearance. Her brows and the muscles around her eyes can move, relax, and tense thanks to facial motors. When Mark 1 is addressed, for example, she can respond by moving motors to create a convincing facial expression, such as raising her brows in surprise or even winking. Ma claims that he had to learn complex skills like computer programming and electromagnetics, as well as create accurate 3D models of all the parts that needed to be printed and figure out how to successfully fit the robot's skin over the components via a time-consuming trial and error method. Sophia did you believe that a country could only give citizenship to humans? That is no longer the case. Sophia, a humanoid robot created in Hong Kong by Hanson Robotics, was the first robot to be granted citizenship in any country. As a result, Sophia has become a Saudi citizen, and she's a popular robot. She was created to resemble Audrey Hepburn, a well-known Hollywood actress. She has given interviews to the United Nations, America's Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, the BBC, and others. Mr. Hanson, Sophia's creator, believes she would be ideal as a nursing home companion, a crowd manager at large events or parks and so on. Sophia is equipped with these capabilities thanks to neural networks, expert robotic systems, natural language processing, machine perception, motor control, and other technologies. To begin, she employs machine perception to recognize human faces and understands a variety of emotional expressions and hand gestures. Then, various path planning algorithms are used to control her hands, eyes, legs, and so on. Sophia interacts with different people and responds appropriately using natural language processing, which is very useful useful in interviews. Furthermore, all these interactions are saved on a cloud network, making it simple to use blockchain technology to analyze conversations. Erica at 23, Japan's newest news anchor would make her parents proud if she had any. Erica, a lifelike android designed to look like a 23-year-old woman, may soon become a TV news anchor in Japan, according to the Wall Street Journal. Erica's creator, Hiroshi Ishigura, director of Osaka University's Intelligent Robotics Laboratory, stated that the robot will replace a human news anchor on the airwaves as soon as April. Erica the android could be an excellent candidate for this office position. She can recite scripted writing and sit in the chair with ease, making her about as qualified for television as the average person. Erika's charisma, according to Ishigura, sets her apart from other artificial intelligence. Because of speech generation algorithms, facial recognition technology, and infrared sensors that allow her to track faces across a room, Erika can communicate with humans. Erika can move her facial features, neck, shoulders, and waist independently, allowing her to respond to human speech with uncanny autonomy, according to Ishiguro Laboratories. Erika's creator has described her as so lifelike that she might have a soul, but others may find her odd. Erika, on the other hand, will not be the first lifelike robot to capture the attention of a large human audience. What do you think about these most advanced humanoid robots? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.